Hey. I'm on the train from Lhasa to Ningxi. From Lhasa to Ningxi. From Lhasa to Ningxi. I'll see you, see you soon. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Lai Ming. I'm, uh, I'm currently at the last hour train station and in less than an hour, I'm gonna get on board a train uh, connecting me from Lhasa to Lingchi and this is going to be the first bullet train running on the Tibetan Plateau so I pretty much look forward to traveling on it. Look at all the greenest outside. I've been searching for them all this journey. Basically, this train cuts through so many mountains, and when you see the grass, the land, the trees, and also the greenhouses that uh, local farmers grow their vegetables, I guess they make a good profit from that. And that all shows the economy, the living, and basically the lives of people who live on this land in Tibet. After sitting on this train for a bit, I feel really thirsty, so I just got some hot water. So on this bully train, it has a hot water supply. All you need to do is just press the red button. It can unlock the hot water supply system, and then keep press the green button, and you can get your hot water. It also offers the single-use like paper cups, but I really enjoy the green lifestyle. I bring my own thermal cup. Traveling on board the Lhasa Ningxi Railway, and if you pay no heat to the Tibetan language announcement, then you feel almost no difference from traveling by train in any other part of China. The amenities and the services are almost the same. But the first high-speed train running in southeast Tibet cuts travel time almost by half for most destinations along the line, which is why more than 106,000 passengers took the train in the first month of its operation. It is just that popular. train from Lhasa to Ningxi and this is the first stop, Chanang Station. We're at 3,620 meters above sea level. This is amazing! Here we are at the second stop, Shenan Station. So here we are at 3,700 meters above sea level. This is Nang County. Average elevation of the area is 3,200 meters. And two more stops to go until we hit Ningxi. It's about four hours since I've spent time on this train, and we are at Meilin or Mei Lang. We're at 3,700 meters above sea level. And next time I see you, it's at the final destination. Hi, we arrived finally in Ningqi. And by now, I'm sure you've noticed there are people getting on and off the train at every stop of the way. And some of them may not be very familiar with the experience of traveling by train, but I'm sure their lives will change, change, change with this infrastructure in place. <laughs> 